How wonderful, how, how marvelous this my song shall ever be. Everybody, how wonderful, how, how marvelous is my Savior's love for sing aloud how, how how marvelous this my song shall live be how wonderful how marvelous this sing how wonderful how marvelous this my song shall ever be how marvelous how is my savior's love sing 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 how wonderful how marvelous this my song shall ever be To Jesus I consecrate anew He is my portion forever Only His glory and sports will I pursue He is my portion forever Take the world, take, take the world With all His skill, the toys, take Take the world, I covet not his joys. Mine is a wealth, no moth nor rust destroys. Jesus, my portion forever. Oh Lord, to Jesus, my trusting heart can see. He is my portion forever. Led by his mercy, I'm walking every day. Take the world, take, take the world with all its gilded toys. Take, take the world, I covet not his toys. Mine is so wells, no moth nor rust destroys. Jesus, my Savior forever. Though He may try me, this blessed truth I know. He will not leave me, His promise tells me so. Take the world, take, take the world. With all his gilded toys, take, take the world, I covet not the joys. My is a wealth, no rust. He is my portion forever. Oh Lord, to Jesus, I cheerfully resign. Have the weakness that he, my Lord, is mine. Take the world, take the world, take the world. Where's the world? Where's the world? No, 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 destroys. He is my portion forever. All to Jesus I consecrate a new. All His glory and sports will I perceive. Take, take the old and. Take the world. My is a wealth, no more, no rust destroys.
take take the world with all its guild toys take take the world i covet not its joys mine is a wealth no moth nor rust destroys all the fault for i am called me jesus signal steel with the answer back to heaven by thy grace we will hold the fort hold the fort for i am coming jesus with first heal with the answer back to heaven by thy grace we will hold the fort hold the fort for i am coming jesus seek now steal with the end back to heaven by thy grace we will oh my brethren see the signal waving in the sky reinforcements now appearing victory is nigh hold the fort hold the fort for i am coming jesus with pastel sweep the answer back to heaven by thy grace we will see the mighty host advancing Satan leading on mighty men around us falling courage almost gone hold the fort The glorious banner waving hear the trumpet blow in our leader's name will triumph over every foe hold the fort for I am coming Jesus seek now steal with the answer back to heaven by thy grace we will fierce and long the bar till rages but I help is me oh what comes a great commander share my comrade share oh that fort 
For I am come in Jesus with a steel with the answer back to heaven by that grace we everybody singing hold the porch for i am coming jesus with posture let me hear you sing hold the porch for I am coming, Jesus, with pastel, with the answer back to heaven by your grace. We will everybody singing, singing. Sing aloud. With the answer back to heaven. By thy grace we will say it again. Only the sisters singing. baritone voice of the man with the answer back to heaven only the choir now And let me give you the microphone now. And everybody now will sing with the answer back to heaven. By thy grace we we amen. Praise the Lord. Where are the sisters? Can you raise up your hands? Happy and fruitful, fulfilled new year to you in Jesus' name. The brothers, are you there? Where are you? Happy and powerful, prosperous new year to you in Jesus' name. And the workers, those who are inside and those who are outside, workers, full-time, volunteer, low, high, great, big, plumpy, and thin, all the workers, happy and working, wonderful new year for you in Jesus' name. A choir anywhere you are maybe you are not singing but you are in the, but you are in the choir before and you'll still be in the choir today and you'll be in the choir in the future where are the choir people where are they praise the lord happy and singing and successful happy year for you ministers are you there where are the ministers you look like ministers the way you stand, the way you raise your hand, you are not ministers, you are not ministers. Ministers, 
happy ministry miracle field new year for you you will never be the same again your joy will know no limit your happiness will know no bounds miracle upon miracle miracle upon miracle miracle upon miracle in jesus name we pray put those hands together and clap and make the devil dead amen you know why you are clapping and you know the devil was feeling the devil said that's enough now that's enough now don't make me that do that again amen god bless every one of you my children all the troubles of last year they've gone with last year all the sorrows of last year they've gone with last year this is a new day and you'll be a new man you'll be a new woman in jesus name we pray do you still need preaching because everything is given already praise the lord let's close our eyes for prayer father in the name of jesus we thank you we know you are a wonderful god and we know you are a powerful mighty god that will never change oh lord i pray for your people at this time this will be a wonder patch year in jesus name a miracle field year in jesus name and I pray, Lord, the joy of the Lord will go with your people from now on till the end of the year, till the end of their lives. No defeat. Nothing will conquer them. Every one of us will be more than conquerors in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can see now in the blessing of God. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 26. Acts chapter 26 we're looking in at verse 21 and verse 22 supernatural help for perseverance in ministry supernatural help for perseverance in ministry acts chapter 26 i'm reading from verse 21 for these causes the jews caught me in the temple and went about to kill me having therefore obtained help of god having therefore obtained help of god i continue you will continue i continue until this day witnessing both to small and great saying none other things than those which the prophets and moses did say should come the emphasis we have is in verse 22 the lord had raised up paul the apostle and the lord had given him a great ministry an unprecedented ministry and a great privilege and then the jews their council the sanhedrin their elders their leaders and their people all rose up against him but then he said having therefore obtained help of god help of god that's what we need that's what we are going to have then he said i continue until this day we will continue in jesus name i divide the message to three parts number one peculiar hatred against privileged ministers peculiar hatred against privileged ministers number two promised help for purposeful ministers the lord has called you and you have a purpose you have a goal there is meaning now in your life and there is a drive something driving you what you ought to do and where you're going if you are purposeful like that, there is help from heaven promised unto you. Number three, powerful, the powerful helper. The powerful helper of persevering ministers. Number one, peculiar hatred against privileged 
ministers. And there is a principle you are going to find in the scriptures that when God raises you up, when God lifts you up and when God decides he's going to give you a special blessing, a peculiar blessing then you'll find those who do not love your position, your place your privilege, your productivity and the things you stand for, they're going to rise up and they're going to show some peculiar hatred which they will not have shown if you didn't have the place, the position, the privilege that you had. But thank God, in spite of them all, we have overcome already. Let me show you this principle in 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel chapter 5. 2 Samuel chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. To start with, 2 Samuel chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. David was 30 years old. When he began to reign, and he reigned 40 years. In Hebron, he reigned over Judah, seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem, he reigned 30 years and three. Over all Israel and Judah, he was anointed. That's what we're told at the latter part of verse 3. That they anointed David king over Israel. After that anointing, after that privilege, after that exalted position of the king over the most powerful nation in the world at that time, what happened then? What was the result? What was the reaction? And what did the Philistines do? What did they raise up as a result of that privilege? So you understand the peculiar hatred against privileged ministers we're looking at verse 17 it says but when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel all the Philistines came up to seek David and David heard of it and went down to the hold and the Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim and David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Will thou deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said unto David, Go, you will go up. For I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thy hand. You see that principle right there, the moment those Philistines heard that David had been anointed, exalted in the place of Saul. Then they all chained together and they manifested this peculiar hatred. Peculiar hatred against privileged ministers. Oh, we're looking at Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6. As it was, so it is until this day. Luke chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. And when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake, rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. Your reward will be waiting for you. For in like manner did their fathers to the prophets. Jesus said, it's not something new. It's an axiom. It's a truth that is visible for everybody to see. He said, check up the history of the people of God. Once somebody is exalted to be a prince or to be a preacher, or to be a pastor, or to be a prophet, or to be a proclaimer of the good news of the Lord. He said, so did their fathers to all the prophets. And then he tells us, but woe unto you that are rich. For ye have, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Verse 26. Verse 26. We're going to read that together. Won't you go? See what Jesus Christ said to his own disciples? Those who want to be so sentimental, 
that all they want is the appreciation of man and they're doing everything instead of pleasing the lord in their ministry they're doing everything to avoid the hatred of the world and they're doing everything to attract the praise the appreciation the affection of the people of the world and they're doing everything to please the world so the world will be able to congratulate them that they're doing well and the more they love those false prophets the more they will hate the people that are standing for the truth and he'll be talking to the people standing for the truth is he not a preacher like you is she not a minister like you are these other people that uh, their ministries comfort us and they console us and uh, their ministries kind of please us and and we are praising them don't you understand that this is what we love why don't you give us what we love no we cannot because jesus our lord and and our savior and our king of kings and lord of lords and redeemer our commander in battle and the one who has appointed us and commissioned us he had said we should rejoice when those men hate us but he says want you when all men shall speak well of you for so did they their fathers unto the false prophets when somebody becomes false and he becomes unfaithful to his calling unfaithful to his commission unfaithful to the call the lord had given him and is now no more pleasing the heavenly father but pleasing society then the lord said when you are receiving their praise woe unto you ours will be blessing I said ours will be blessing. John chapter 7 verse 7. John chapter 7 verse 7. The world cannot hit you. The Lord Jesus was talking to his own members of his natural family. That he is the, the children of Miriam. He said the world cannot hit you. But me it hateth. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil i testify of the world that the works thereof are evil that's why he said they hated him in john chapter 15 john chapter 15 i'm reading from verse 16 if the world hates you ye know that it hated me before it hated you if ye were of the world the world will love his own but because because I said, because, tell me, you are not of the world. Because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. Therefore, the world hateth you. But in spite of their hatred, we are going to have help of the Lord in Jesus' name you have help from the Lord. I come to point number two, the promised help to purposeful ministers. The, uh, the promised help to purposeful ministers. Remember that this year is a year of purpose. A year of good planning. A year of good programs. And a year of productivity and fruitfulness in Jesus' name. When it's a purpose in your heart that you re-examine your calling and your and your commission again, and that you put in place the programs, the plans, and the projects that will fulfill the calling of God for your life, then there is a promised help in Acts chapter 26, verse 22. Having therefore obtained help of God. Having therefore obtained help of God. That's help that is promised. And that help is available for you today. Hold on to the promise of God every day. He says, I will help you. And the Lord will not disappoint. He will help us in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 41. I'm reading from verse 10. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear thou not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. 
Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Will God help you? Isaiah chapter 50, I'm reading from verse 7. Isaiah chapter 50, verse 7. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flinch. And I know that I shall not be ashamed. This year you will not be ashamed. Psalm 33, I'm reading from verse 18. Psalm 33, verse 18. In verse 18 it says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death. You will not die. Your life is preserved. You are in the hollow of the hands of the Lord. And no evil will cut short your life. In Jesus name. On the road you will be protected. In the home you will be protected. In your office. You do you know that promotion is coming this year in our offices. And then when you are promoted like that. There will be people who have been saying. Why him? Why deeper? Why not me? And then their jealousy will come. In spite of their jealousy, you'll, you will enjoy your promotion. Because this is the promise of the Lord. And he said, he'll deliver your soul from death and keep them alive in famine. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In Psalm 40, I'm reading from verse 16. Psalm 40, verse 16. In Psalm 40 verse 16 It says Let all those that seek thee Rejoice And be glad in thee Let such as love thy salvation Say continually The Lord be magnified For I am poor But I am poor and needy Yet the Lord thinketh upon me The Lord is thinking about you And the Lord is planning for you and this year will be a year when those thoughts and plans will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, O oh my God. We're looking at Psalm 46, Psalm 46 from verse 1. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore will we not fear Though the earth be removed And though the mountains be carried Into the midst of the sea Though the waters thereof roar And be troubled Though the mountains shake With the swelling thereof There is a river The streams thereof Shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacles of the most high. God is in the midst of her. God is in your midst. As you go back to your local church, God is in your midst. As you go back to your homes, God is in your midst. God is in their midst, in our midst. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that... Right early Your help will not be late It is coming I said it is coming Psalm 121 Help from on high Psalm 121 I'm reading from verse 8 Sorry from verse 1 I will lift up my eyes Unto the hills From whence cometh My help My help cometh my help cometh. Is it coming? Yes. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer, not permit, not allow thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Yes. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is, thy, is a shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. 
the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. The Lord, the God of heaven, the most high God, will preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even and even and even forever and ever and ever. Amen. I come to point number three, the powerful helper of persevering ministers. You know Paul the Apostle, if there's anything you can say about him, it was he was a persevering minister. And then because the Lord saw his, he was sticking to the work, and remaining in the work the Lord had called him to do. The Lord said, don't worry, I'll be with you, I will help you. I'll not leave you in the hands of those Pharisees, in the hands of those enemies. And the same thing as this year, you are making up your mind and you lay everything upon the altar. The Lord is telling you, this year is a year of protection. A year of preservation. A year of divine help coming from on high. The powerful help of persevering ministers. We're back to Acts chapter 26. Acts chapter 26, verse 22. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue. I continue. You continue? You'll continue. All the grace you need to continue, I'll give you. All the strength you need to continue, I'll give you. All the power, resistance that you need to be able to continue, the Lord will give you. And all of heaven's resources that you need in your life to be able to continue, it will give you in Jesus' name. We're back to the Psalm, Psalm 10. Psalm 10, Psalm 10. I'm reading there from verse 14. He is your helper. Psalm 10, verse 14. In Psalm 10, verse 14, thou hast seen it. For thou beholdest mischief and spite to requite each with thy hand. The poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked. And the evil man seek out his wickedness till thou find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his hand. Help is coming on the way. Psalm 30, I'm reading from verse 10. Psalm 30, reading from verse 10. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Be thou my helper. And when God is your helper, no evil will ever overcome you in Jesus' name. Psalm 54, Psalm 54, I'm reading from verse 4. Psalm 54, we're looking at verse 4. Behold, 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 behold. It says, somebody says, behold, look at me. Look at my life. Look at my family. God is your helper. Everywhere you go this year, people will behold you. And they will see the Lord is your helper in Jesus' name. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. Psalm 63. I'm reading from verse 1. 63 verse 1. Oh God... Thou art my God, he is your God. Only will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longeth for thee. In a dry and thirsty land, when the water is, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with my own fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, I meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help. 
Therefore, in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. You will rejoice in Jesus' name. In the shadow, in the shadow, in the shadow of his wings, my soul followeth hard after thee. My, thy right hand upholdeth me. You will not fall. I said you will not fall. Now some 20, some 20, some 20. I'm reading from verse 1. You want to notice verse 2 in particular. Psalm 20 verse 1. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. And send thee help from the sanctuary. And strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember you will remember all your offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice it will grant you according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel we will rejoice in thy salvation in the name of our god we will set up our banners the last part of that verse five the last part of that verse five Say it convincingly. Think about that. All your prayers are answered. All your desires are fulfilled. All your petitions, they are confirmed and affirmed. Heaven has put a signature on the check. And whatever you write there, it's given. I said it's given. Anywhere you find yourself, no lack no limitation in your life the lord fulfill all thy petition hebrews chapter hebrews chapter 13 hebrews chapter 13 i'm reading from verse 5 hebrews chapter 13 reading from verse 5 and verse 6 here it says let your conversation be without covetousness be content with such things as ye have for he has said for he has said i will never leave thee nor forsake thee so we may boldly say what do we boldly say do you say it timidly do you say fearfully do you say it ashamed how do you say it the lord is your helper i will not fear what man shall do unto me do you believe that help within help in front help follow you from behind help around help above help underneath you you go here help you go there help you move over there help and you reach there help you are standing help you are sitting now help the Lord is your helper. Can you stand up and have that help? Have that help? Have that help? And all your petition, the Lord will fulfill. You open your mouth and tell the Lord this year is a year of help. Help, help, help. The Lord will help you. The Lord will help you. And the Lord will supply all your needs. All his riches in glory, they belong to you. Help, help, help everywhere for you. Your friends will help. The church will help. Your employer will help. Your employees will help. Your neighbors will help. Almighty God will help. Angels will help. The Lord Jesus Christ will help. The comfort and the power of the Holy Ghost will help. It will give you help from every direction. Help, help, help. Coming from everywhere to fulfill what the Lord has called you to. Help. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. It will never run dry. It will never run dry. It will never run dry. Help coming from above. Help coming from every direction. The Lord is your helper this year. No sorrow. No sickness. No fear. No regrets. No despair. No discouragement. 
no crying no tears hell help for you coming from everywhere the people you don't know will help you the people you have never seen will help you your friends will help you your neighbors will help you God will turn everybody around to be a helper don't fear anybody don't fear anybody they're coming to help you they look tall they will help you they look short they will help you they look fierce they will help you they look friendly they will help you don't fear anybody everybody is coming the Lord is sending them they will help you even Balaam even Balaam even Balaam his prophecy will help you hell the Lord send your help from above the Lord is your helper the Lord is your helper the Lord is your helper and he'll carry you through he'll see you through help 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 coming from everywhere help trust in the Lord help has come support has come the power of the Lord will not allow you to fail. He'll send you help from his sanctuary. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Raise up those blessed hands, those anointed hands, those powerful hands. Any hand, anything you touch with that hand this year, help will come through. The power of the Lord will flow through that hand. The anointing of the Lord will flow through hand. You lay that hand on your wife, your wife is blessed. Lay that hand upon your husband, that husband is blessed. Lay that hand upon your children and failure will turn to success in Jesus' name. When that hand comes on anybody, just shaking somebody, just shaking somebody, help will flow to them. And help will flow to you in Jesus' name. Your tears are wiped away. Your sorrows are taken away. And the help and the exaltation of the Lord will come upon your life. Everywhere you go, the Lord send you help. Heavenly Father, we thank you this year. Lord, we thank you because you have given us this message at the beginning of the year. This year, Lord, is a year of help. A year of progress, a year of productivity, a year of power, a year of promotion, a year of joy, a year of the supernatural, a year of wonders, a year of signs, a year of miracles. Confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. Wipe all the tears away, take all the sorrows away. And Lord, I pray everyone will receive your help. All our sisters, help. All our brothers, help. Security, help. Ushers, help. Our full time workers, help. Our volunteer workers, help. Our orchestra, help. Our singers, help. Our children, help. The Francophone people, help. The Anglophone people, help. And those who are cooking for us in the kitchen, help. And those who are cleaning all that surrounding, help. Everybody, Lord, hearing the sound of my voice, that help will start right now. The help will start right now. Whatever we have lost, we are going to regain in Jesus' name. Supernatural help. Sufficient help. Superabundant help. Pour upon everyone in Jesus' name. And the Lord answer all our petition this year. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. I said, in Jesus' name we pray. Now, don't clap yet. Don't clap yet. You know, sometimes, and some people, when they clap, they clap like old man of the old year, with the old nature, with the old sickness, with the old weakness, with the old everything is old. But this is a new year and a new day. A new year and a new day. A new year and a new day. A new year.